Hello everyone, I'm Dante here from Low Manor and welcome to another Lore Watch. This week we're looking into the story behind Satya Vaswani, otherwise known as Symmetra. Before the Omnic Crisis, the world was seemingly heading towards a golden age of equality. The promises of Omnica hinting at a world without poverty or starvation. The war changed all of that. A truly global event with no country able to survive completely unscathed. Some were hit harder than others, from the self-reliance of Russia, the still ongoing struggles of the Koreans, through to the ultimately devastating decisions made in Australia. India experienced its own problems and after the crisis found the vast majority of its population displaced with nowhere to call home. One young resident of this chaotic situation found in the slums of Hyderabad in the south of the country was a girl with as yet untapped potential, Satya Vaswani. Before the now renowned Vishkar Corporation had set about realising their plan to rebuild and resettle India, the cities, such as they were, were riddled with poverty, with much of the populace forced to live in slum-like conditions. Whether by choice or simply through no other option, the Indian government tasked the hardlight advocates with building new self-sustaining cities, to house their war-weary citizens. With the devastation of the broken promises made by Omnica still fresh in the memory, placing such trust in another technology-driven company cannot have been an easier decision to make, but with Overwatch still in its infancy, it may have been the only decision available. As Vishkar began expanding their vision, they began testing children among the population, for the innate but extremely rare ability to wield and manipulate hard-like technology. Eventually this process reached Hyderabad, and Satya was one of the few found to possess the necessary aptitude. Plucked away from her friends and family, she was taken into the care of the Vishkar Architect Academy, where she would be taught the craft that would come to define her entire life. At what age this happened is unclear, as is whether or not Satya and her family had any say in the matter, but she would never return home again. It rapidly became apparent just how accurate the Vishkar assessors had been when they found and tested Satya. She grasped the nature of the technology rapidly and was amongst the top students in the academy. The loneliness of her existence, cut off from her family and everything she had known in life, served only to spur her on, and she threw herself into the craft with incredible vigour, Satya utilising her upbringing not only as fuel but also as inspiration. While her colleagues and peers approach hard light manipulation from an engineering mindset with a focus on mechanical and procedural, she adopted a more creative approach. The slums of Hyderabad had been terrible in many ways, but they had also served as a cultural melting pot, and Satya adopted the traditional dance of her home, potentially the Kuchipudi, into her endeavours, weaving hard light work into its intricate patterns. Chiefly though, they acted as a driving force. Satya had grown to detest the chaotic nature of her upbringing, seeing her skills with hard light and the power of Vishkar as the perfect tools to bring order to the world. As Vishkar surged forward with their rebuilding of India, they became ever more ambitious. The ultimate expression of this came in the form of Utopia. Where other cities had been enhanced with liberal use of their signature hard light technology, Vishkar used it to construct Utopia in its entirety. A city built purely via photonic projection, able to be altered and improved on the whim of any of their burgeoning number of architects. At what point Satch became involved in this astonishing undertaking is unclear, but at some point she was very much considered one of Utopia's top architects. Following the fall of Overwatch, the huge gulf left in its absence and the subsequent reduction in world order, Vishkar began to look into other ways to make full use of Satch's potential. No longer were Vishkar content with Satya being a brilliant architect, any more than they were content with allowing the world around them to make their own decisions. As such, they pulled Satya away from city construction, and in secret began training her in the art of clandestine operations. Given the call sign of Symmetra, her purpose was now to act as an ambassador of Vishkar in public, while working in the shadows in private, infiltrating enemies of her employer in order to extend their influence, and ensure that any prospective client made the correct decisions. Vishkar's ambition eventually led them to South America and the favelas of Rio de Janeiro. With the mayor looking to develop the city centre into something they could be proud of, Vishkar found themselves in a bidding war with a local developer by the name of Colado. Due to their more ambitious proposal potentially causing the mayor problems with the favela population, 
a belief that will later prove to be accurate, and the familiarity of Collado, Fishgar found themselves set to lose out on the lucrative contract. Switching from her role as ambassador and figurehead to her job in espionage, Symmetra was sent in. Motivated by the striking similarities between the favelas and her youth spent in the slums of Hyderabad, she relished the chance to ensure Vishkar's success, certain that only they could bring order to the chaos of Rio. Under the control of her handler Sanjay Korpal, using her heart like mastery she demonstrated multiple qualities that make her the elite agent that she is, but perhaps not quite the agent Vishkar required in the long run. Her cunning saw her slip past Kalado's security, a sense of justice saw her unwilling to kill where it wasn't necessary, and her humanity saw her aghast at the machinations of her employer. Ultimately, Symmetra still follows the teachings of Vishkar because it's all she has ever known, and more potently, because they align so closely with her overwhelming desire for order over chaos. This is the mantra she lives by. But as the world becomes a darker place, and people begin to yearn for more heroes to save them, who can say on what side of the divide she will end up on? With freedom and the inherent chaos that accompanies it beginning to rear their heads across the world, not least in Rio, her future remains unclear. The only certainty we have is that for now, and in spite of everything she has seen, for Symmetra, the only true enemy of humanity is disorder. Thanks for watching this episode of A Law Watch. Where do you think Symmetra will end up should Overwatch return? Would she approve? Would she see them as another force of chaos in the world? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to join us next week for the Junkers special where we cover the explosive backstory to Junkrat and his bodyguard Roadhog. Remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed this video. You can check out our previous Lore Watch and a few of our other series right here. And until next time, I've been Dantir, thanks for watching.